Hi everybody, um, this is the last part to my sticker organisation. I'm going to show you how I store all my kits. Um, I have a few folders because I organise them different ways. So I'm going to start with this folder which is my kits that I'm not using at the moment. This is just an A5 ring binder and I use the pockets. So I have some kits from the Pump Planner. I've got one from Paper Loving My Paper Loving Heart. Um, this is just a small two sheet kit from La Petite Paula. Um, I've got some more from the Pump the plump planner and I've put some glitter headers with it um, another one from the plump planner and then I had some freebies that had the same sort of um, clip art on them so I put them together I have one from your world of colour um, pretty crafty planning and prints and then I had the double box from Harriet Wright Designs so I put that with it uh, Green Dana Designs this one is from Sticker Bear Shoppy but I think it changed its name now and I put glitter headers from Lucinda Charlotte and also a full box with it that I thought would go nice with that kit. Um, I have some more from Lucinda Charlotte, uh, La Petite Paula, Pretty Crafty Planning, also uh, a toolbox from Lucinda Charlotte with the same clip art, Katie Elizabeth Designs and the full box with the same clip art from Lucinda Charlotte and then uh, Kelsabeth Plans. So these are all normal kits that could be used any time of the year. I then have this folder which is more um, seasonal and for different holidays in the year so I have a Valentine's one from the Plump Planner I do also try and organise these so like holidays starting from the beginning of the year to the end so it starts with like Valentine's type kits and it would have winter ones if I had any um, I have this one that I got from a D stash from one of the other PR girls from Your World of Colour. This was from Beautiful Planning. I've never purchased from the shop myself, but um, Sam gave me that one. I have a, I think this is a mini Happy Planner kit from Green Darner Designs. So if I use this, I'd have to use some extra washi with it. Um, some Halloween ones from the Plump Planner. Um, these are stickers from one of the Happy Planner um, Me and My Big Ideas uh, sticker books so I thought I'd stick them together and I could make a kit out of that. I also have a personalised kit from Lucinda Charlotte I think it was. Yeah that was one from last year and I just put some leftover stickers with it um, I also last year received this free sampler uh, there we go it was a Planacon freebie I think it came in a one of her oops bags or something and I didn't want to throw it away so I managed to find another box that would go with it and I'm going to try and make up a kit if I have any leftover 
boxes from a autumn kit I used this year and I can make up a kit for next year. I also have this one. I think a couple of shops called it Into the Woods, but as you can see, I do have it twice. Um, I have it first from Sticker Bear Shoppy and I've added some other bits to it to make it a full kit. So I've added pieces from Harriet Wright Designs and Lucinda Charlotte. And then I also have it from Anne Prince as well. But I think when I had it from Anne Prince, see, I've got it all. I've had to make it up again because when I had it from Anne Prince, I think it was in an oops bag. So I didn't actually have all the kit. So I've tried sticking pieces together. Um, so some of these where they're not full kits and I've had to add bits to them. They've probably come from oops bags and I've only received a couple of them. But it's good receiving them from different shops and then you could make up like a mix. So this is Harriet Wright Designs. And then I have a sheet which is the bottom washi. But it's from, it's just paper co. And then I have the deco pieces as well. So that's how I sometimes make up my kits where it's um, mixed shops. I have another Habit Right Designs kit. And I think this is a mix up as well. Um, I've got bits from Lucinda Charlotte. And then the washi is from Planning with C. I have an elf kit from Fantasy Designs Store, um, another Christmas one from the Plump Planner and I've put some Your World of Colour glitter headers with it and I also have one of the Plump Planner's full kits because um, most of her kits are two sheets which is your full boxes and your half boxes and deco. And some of her kits, she does do add-ons, which is what this kit is. So you then get your little things, thing for the sidebar, some checklists, and then some washi and glitters. So that's all for my seasonal folder. Um, I'm just going to cut off here probably be for 10 minutes but it'll only be a second for you as I have forgotten one of my folders so I'm going to go grab that and a quick drink but to you I will be back in just a second. I'm back um, I'm going to go through kits that I have already planned out um, I have two of these accordion folders this one is full of kits for the rest of this year so how I organise this is I have a space which is for each month and then I use the pockets that go in the A5 ring bind folders. So in here is all my kits for October. So I have my monthly which is from Your World of Colour. I then have a couple of her kits. Uh, this one and then what I use I have these stickers I think they were from Pound World and I write the date for the, uh, the date the week starts I want to use it and I sometimes write the kit underneath as well so I can remember which I've forgotten to do here so I forgot what these kits are called um, but I've got this one for the 8th I'm currently planning next week so that's why next week's isn't hint here and then have another one for your world of colour because in October I'm using all the your world of colour kits these two are blank because I need to order them once the shop has reopened but I do have my coffee monsters countdowns in there so they're all my kits for October and get them back in 
Um, I've got some kits in here for November. Sorry if you hear any noise, that's my dog trying to make herself comfortable. Um, I've got one for November the 19th. This is a Black Friday kit from Lucinda Charlotte Designs. I put an F on here so I know I'm using some foil on the kit. And then I also have another Lucinda Charlotte Designs kit for November the 26th, which is Thanksgiving week for, in, is it just America? Or is there other countries that, <laughs> sounds stupid now, but other countries that celebrate Thanksgiving. I also have some glitter headers from Green Darna Designs to go with that kit. So that is some that I'm going to use in November. I do need to order my autumn kits. So that's why it's a bit empty there. As well as December is a bit empty because I need to order kits for December as well. But um, I do want to use this kit for one of the weeks. That's why it's not dated yet because I don't know what week to use it on. But this is a mix up of um, sheets as well. I have the main boxes from the Plump Planner and a double box from Paper uh, Planner Choco, is it? And I think I've got some uh, bottom washi somewhere as well. And then I also have the New Year kit from Lucinda Charlotte Designs that she bought out last year to use for the week of New Year. So these are all my kits that I want to use for the rest of this year. my monthly back in I then have another one of those accordion folders with kits that I want to use for next year I can't fit a whole month in there I think if I'm right there's six spots so once that one's empty I'll start filling it so I do have some kits planned out for next year so these are for January um, I have a monthly from Lucinda Charlotte Designs that I want to use in my B6 and I will cut it down. And then I want to use this one which is also a mix up for the first week in January. Well, it's not the first week, it's the first week's New Year week, but uh, the week after that. Oh, this is a mix up. I've got bits from Planning with C and the Plump Planner. I then want to use this one, which was from Lucinda Charlotte Designs last year. It was a snow bunny kit. I do only have the um, full boxes and some other bits. I don't think I have the bottom washi. So I am trying to find a shop that still has that kit. And I think Anne Prince does. So I'll be ordering that. So I have the extra stickers. So they're what I'll be using in January. February, I nearly have all my February kits sorted out. Um, this is a Pretty Little Liars kit. It was bought out by Lucinda Charlotte for Halloween last year, I think. But I thought the red went really well because of it being valentine's month and i really wanted to use the kit so that's the kit i'll be using for the first week in february i then have this kit from your world of color which was an unreleased kit and um, the way i got it was because uh, the owner carly was doing a d stash and she had printed it for herself so i have that one I also have this one from Your World of Colour, which is the Sophisticated Planner Girl. And I also have the Rose Kit from Your World of Colour as well. So I think I have all my kits for February planned out. Unless any other shop brings a kit out I really like, then I might swap one. For March, I have a kit from Toffee Bananas. 
Elizabeth Plans and Planner Choco. For April, I think this is another mix up as well. I've got bits from the Plumper Planner and another shop in there. And then I have this fairies kit, which is from Katie Elizabeth Plans. And then I've got a, a double box from Carls of Beth and a sampler from the BB Planning Co. I've got some for May. I have this one from Oodle Madoodles. Um, this is a kit from La Petite Paula and I thought this uh, double box which was from Harriet Wright Designs I think would go really nice with it. And then I also have this kit from Toffee Bananas. I've got it the wrong way around. There's the four boxes. I thought this kit would be perfect. I think it's a wedding kit because of the presents as well if i leave the wedding picture off i could use it as a birthday kit for my mom that is why it is marked down for the week of my mom's birthday then for june june's a funny month because i use summer kits through july and August and I don't want to do three months of summer kits after two months I did get, get a bit bored of them so I thought for June seeing as there wasn't anything else I wanted to use I was going to do a Harry Potter uh, month so I have two kits from Your World of Colour I just have a normal mixed Harry Potter kit and the Hufflepuff because I am a Hufflepuff I just got to order some more kits for that and to try and get myself a monthly as well and then like i said because this is only six months i do have a big stack shoved in the back which is supposed to be july but then it goes on so i have a mixed kit again i then have um one from Sticker, I'm still going to keep calling it Sticker Bear Shoppy because I can't remember what it changed its name to as well as a full box from the Planner Girl kit from Harriet Wright Designs. I thought the colours matched really well. I then have, I have this in my other folder from another shop but I like the Lucinda Charlotte one because it's um, a glossy kit and I thought I would try the glossy kit. So I have that one. I have one from Lucinda Charlotte Designs with some glitter headers from Lily Sky's Dream. I have an autumn one that I want to use next autumn, which is from Sticker Bear Shoppy again. Hold on, I can't split it. I have this one from Planner Chocho. I think it's a mixed mix there. Um but I wanted to use this one for Halloween next year. I have one from Calzabeth Plans as well that I want to use for Halloween next year. And I have this one which is the sparkle kit from last year from Lucinda Charlotte Designs that I'd like to use at the beginning of December next year. So that is how I store all my kits. And then any extra bits for kits. Um, I have these little photo albums from Wilco's and I just store any odd um, tall or double boxes I've had from Oops Bags. And then, pardon me, hopefully I can get um, the kit to go with it. If not, I can find a kit that uses similar clip art or similar colours. So I have some of the tool boxes from Lucinda Charlotte, uh, a double box. This will go well with a Halloween kit I have from the Plump Planner. 
um, another double box. I think they're mainly Lucinda Charlotte designs, I think. Oh, I have some Harriet Wright design ones as well. Um, I have one from Pr Pretty Crafty Planning. This one was cut off a functional sheet from Lucinda Charlotte Designs. I can use this with an autumn kit. Um, and then I just have my Coffee Monsters Co. samplers. Oh, and just some leftover icons. Um, I do have a couple more of these. I have one that stores all the small sheets of glitter headers. And I have one that holds all my small sheets of days of the week script and my date dots. So that is how I organise all of my kits and kit pieces. Um, so this was the last video of my sticker organisation. I might change this up at some point. I would like to get some of the... Oh, I can't remember what they call them now, the display folders, uh, A5 display folders for my kits rather than the ring ones because they do take up a bit of less space. But if I do reorganise my, uh, my kits and all my other stickers, I will make new videos and I will just add them in to the playlist that I made up. I will put the playlist in one of the little things at the top of the screen for you so you can go back and watch all of the videos that I've done in this little series but uh, that's it for how I organize my stickers um, if you haven't subscribed already please do so I'd love to have you over here on the channel uh, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you wish and I shall see you in my next one